Of course, in my own studies and my own activities over the past, well, my whole life, there's, there's always been the, the artistic side, the musical side, and the, the more, uh, you know, math, science, technology side. And I, I think those two parts of my life have, uh, have fed each other. Christopher Taylor came to us and um, he had a really interesting project about a new piano he wanted to make. The, the basic idea is that he wanted to create a double-decker piano. And he based the model off of a Steinway that was double-decker. It had two sets of keys, one directly in front and slightly below the other. He also wanted to have it electrically control two stereo pianos. On the new instrument then, by playing a note here, it'll send a signal over to one of the subsidiary instruments, and by playing a note here, it'll send the signal over to the other subsidiary instrument. Um, so, I mean, the, the sound will be a little different. You'll get this sort of stereo effect. You know, with that kind of setup, you can play a duet by yourself, basically and it'll sound like it's coming from two distinct piano players. So the technical problems involved with that um, involve the big one's delay. Um, so when I strike a key on the dummy piano, we need to limit the time delay between the striking of the key and the output of sound on the stereo piano as much as possible. Otherwise, you're gonna not play in time, right? Especially if the timing delay is different for the two pianos. But what it is gonna have is, is it's gonna have digital sensors that are gonna watch what the pianist is doing, which keys from which keyboard are being pressed. In order to make it feel normal, I'm, I'm going to have, for each keyboard, I'm going to have a complete set of hammers. So while this instrument has 88 hammers, my, new my console will have 176 hammers. I can't resist just having a look, seeing what it's doing. Alex, looks like it's basically doing what it's supposed to. All right. The kind of mental discipline that you need to learn an instrument and to perfect one's playing is, uh, you know, it's very, very useful when one's uh, engaged in a pursuit like the, uh, you know, the development of a new instrument. I mean, you know, you need a lot of patience and uh, perseverance and, you know, I, I definitely believe that the idea has potential and that's why I'm devoting so much time to it.